So uh, we looked at various definitions of terms in our last lesson and I uh, uh, was hoping today we can recap those definitions uh, very fast. The first item we defined was hazard. Uh, we also defined another term that is uh, hazard identification. We also defined hazard identification. Uh, we also define the risk. The risk. Uh, risk control. Risk control. Last but not least, we define the monitoring and review. Monitoring and review. Uh, we said what is a hazard? What is a hazard? We said a hazard is anything, anything, anything could be a condition, could be a situation, a practice, or a behavior. Condition, a condition, a situation, a practice, or a behavior that has potential to cause harm. Has potential to cause what? Harm. Harm, including injury, injury, disease, death, environmental and property or equipment damages. So anything that can potentially cause harm, anything can, that can potentially cause harm, anything that can cause death, anything that can cause injury or environmental, all property damage is a harm, is a hazard. So, so I, I know by that definition already you can you can see a lot of hazards. Cindy, Cindy, so you can see a lot of hazard by looking at things. Anything that can cause harm. Imagine of anything that can cause harm. Anything that can harm you. Anything that can cause you an injury. And you know injuries, you know? Accidents. What else? Maybe falling objects, falling debris. Uh, what else? You can trip and fall. Substance abuse. All those items that can cause harm. And hazards. All those that can cause Death. And basically, anything that can cause harm can cause death. Cindy, doesn't mean when you get harmed you'll die, but uh, most of the time, something that would cause you harm can also result to a death. death. Uh, the second item we are supposed to define is hazard identification. Hazard identification. So, we already defined the term hazard. Cindy, we already know this is anything, a situation, a behavior, anything that can cause you harm. Cindy, what about hazard identification? Identification. This is a process. This is a pro a process. This is a process through which you notice things that can cause harm, harm. Through which you discover things that can lead to harm, to harm. Through which you get to know, get to see accidents or risks, all situations, all conditions, all practices that could lead to a harm. That process of identifying them, like when we were looking around in the last lesson, we were looking around and trying to this to identify various types of hazards in this room. Sendeo, various types of risks. Did we do that? Yes or no? So that process is what we call it hazard identification. That process of discovering maybe a broken window pane somewhere, poor ventilation, maybe poorly illuminated lights. That process of identifying those ha hazards and risks is what we are calling. Hazard identification. Uh, the other item we are supposed to look at is risk. 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 Risk, it is the likelihood or possibility that a hazard will occur or a situation will occur that will be hazard, hazardous. It's the likelihood that a practice will occur, a condition will occur. The likelihood that a behavior will take place or will happen or you will exhibit a behavior that will cause a hazard or a hazardous situation. That will cause an injury. That will cause death. That will cause damage. That is what you are calling a risk. That likelihood. That chance. Huh? That, 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 that likeliness of something to happen may or may not. May not. That possibility of you slapping someone. So, so that will be hazard, yes. That possibility of you jumping over someone or tripping and falling to, on someone. That possibility of you using a panda to carry someone. 
the possibility of you abusing alcohol, drug and substance abuse. Which one do you abuse? Do you abuse any? Yes, the car evil, don't abuse it. <laughs> so, so, be yourself. That is what we are calling a, a risk. That likelihood that you are going to be cut here by a fisi. So, so, so there is a possibility. Fisi is going to How much is it Okay, so. When do you turn to Ah, yeah. We look at risk control. We already know the least is the likelihood of something that can lead to a hazard situation will occur or a hazard will occur. So, what is risk control? What about control? What is control? It is taking action to eliminate health and safety risk as far as reasonable, practicable, and practicable. It is the taking action. Taking action. You're taking action. You're taking an action. To eliminate what? That possibility of a risk from occurring. You, you are taking an action to prevent that possibility of kukatiwa nafi. Nafisi. So, what action are you taking? You make sure you go to church. Mafisi wa pendi kanisa. So, make sure you go to church. To church. Make sure you do what else? What else do you do? To make sure fisi kukaribi? Huh? Are you at home right now? <laughs> that, that, that is not a solution. That is not a way to control that. See, you will still come to school. I, I am pretty sure this class is full of mafis. In your, your, your. So you will still come here. They will still find you here. Make sure you don't show them your teeth. That's all. And if they have to see, it's the only thing they see. Nothing else. You can sit down. That's all. That you are trying to eliminate risk. You. That phone very far away. You are trying to eliminate or to control the likelihood of a hazard. Sasa, you control the likelihood of a hazard. If you board a vehicle and you realize that this vehicle may, may have an accident, why? Because the driver is reckless. What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to speak out. Speak out. Or, leave, or better so you can alight the vehicle. The vehicle. Well, no, 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 no. You will not risk my life. So you will light the vehicle. The other day there was a fire in Embakasi East. A gas explosion. A gas living station exploded. Right? So that was an imminent risk awaiting to happen. Why? Because those people did not observe the occupation safety and health standard and measurement. They did not observe. You're not supposed to have a gas refilling station in residential areas, are you? You're not supposed to have it in the residential areas. And better so, if, you ha if you're going to have such a company, you're supposed to have it in a desert, and again, have, have proper equipment, firefighting equi equipment, have proper measures to prevent such an occurrence to, ha to happen. Uh, right now, what is the death, death toll? The death toll? How many people have died from that fire expression? 300. Yes? Ime Peter? One feature. They, so they're not telling, they're not giving facts. Send it Okay, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's your opinion. So, oh, yeah. uh, the last item you're supposed to define is monitoring and review. Monitoring and review. Uh, monitoring and review, this involves ongoing monitoring of the hazard identified, risk assessed, uh, risk control, uh, process and review them to monitor and make sure they are working. So, you have identified a certain hazard. You have identified a certain risk. So, after identifying, you have to monitor it. You look at it. Is it escalating? How can you control that risk? You have to monitor it. Observe it. Check it. Get to know what caused the, the risk or the hazard in the first place. So, before you can bring a, re, a remedy or a solution. When you see a crack on the wall, do you just come and uh, you start zibbering the crack? First of all, you have to look where the crack is coming from. Sindio, identify what caused that crack in the first place. After you have identified what caused the crack in the first place, then you can go ahead and fix the, pro the problem. Sindio, oh, yeah. uh, those are the items we are supposed to define.